Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the late chapters of the Vampire Coast Co-op. I am the Alchemical Rabbit. And I am Atoli. And Atoli, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. How's your cold? Still sick. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. It's okay. All right, Johnny Cox, you have a lot of things to do right now. That includes going and catching this island. Because what we really need right now is more money. Okay. We're just going to auto-resolve it. All right. Auto-resolve. I like how the Queen Bess is just out here in the middle of the ocean, not really doing anything. Yeah, I mean, as you do. All right, construction costs for all buildings. And ink. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. What is it? I didn't get money. I just got lower construction cost and income plus 10%. Oh, nice. On all buildings, which I don't know if that's actually better or not. And he'll continue to sail that way because he will actually regenerate his entire army just sailing along there. Nice. Now, uh, Kelly, uh, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. All right. The first of them have fled. Top knots. It is time for you to give in. Don't you agree, Atole? I do. Very well. Let's finish them. I said to sail all the way to the other side of the world. This was actually the end game the entire time. Luther Harkon has had a deep-seated grudge against the top knot orcs for hundreds of years. I mean, he is a vampire. I could see him having really odd... Oh, we're underground. That's weird. Yeah, it is. Wow, it's a dwarf? City? It looks that way. Huh. Odd. Did not realize this was... I mean, some orcs, you know, do live in dwarven places, so it makes some level of sense. All right, we're going to bum rush the wall on the right side, because that's not where their reinforcements are. Okay. And I think we want to hit... Well, what do you think? Because that way I could shell them more. Yeah, go go ahead and... Let's stay on this side that they started us on and shell the incoming... Yeah, I'm going to have to agree. Okay. So, cannon is in position. Let's go ahead and get mortars up bloody close. Uh, you guys can go there. I'm placing the wolves in the very front okay. to draw fire. Okay. That is the entire reason they're in the front. Makes sense. All right. Let's go ahead and here's what we're actually going to do for this one. We are going to... Do an odd pinch maneuver okay. with our front line. Okay. I'm gonna put all the good units on the right. Okay. And that way they sort of have freedom of movement to kill whatever needs to die. Okay. Does that make any sense? Yes, I think so. All right. So basically, the right flank can either help free up the left entirely or sweep across. Okay. Is the idea. Yep. All right, it is a healing front line general. Okay. Uh, the Morn Ghouls you can have, but they won't get to do much for now. And here are the wolves. Thank you. Are you good to go? Yes. Beginning. All right, pause. I will now. All right, there are a lot of orcs. Indeed. Which is something you should, you know, just be aware of in general. I shall. Excellent. All right. Then what we are going to do is we are actually going to, let's see, Savage, Savage, Savage Orc Biggins. Okay. Let's actually kill the important things first. Probably a good idea. All right. I am ready. So am I. When you are. We begin. You are not advancing on the walls. Wait, I told them to. What the hell? Hold I don't on. know, but I have stopped because my men started charging forward and went, what? All right, I think, because I just have to select them all and then hit the wall, right? You there have to right-click on the wall when it shows the little your cursor turns into a ladder. Yeah, it did. All right, and then they all have little arrows pointing at it? Uh, No, they do not. That's the weird select thing. Select all of the units, then right-click. Okay, did you right click? I thought I did. Let me. Okay, yes. Are you sure yes. you had right clicked? Yes. You weren't right clicking, were you? I 
I the the first time no the second time I think I did. Okay, where are they? Okay, I see where they're going. Yeah, I can never quite tell where exactly they're going to dock with the walls. Yeah, they I they can't get over here because it's I guess the rocks are blocking it or something. Right. All right, you will fire on those. Yeah, the gunnery mobs, they won't do a whole lot, but they'll do damage. Yep, and then slapping the heel on the scurvy dogs. Yeah, so that I could, like, keep drawing, keep drawing that the fire. fire. Yes, I think that is an excellent, excellent idea. Savage orcs, savage orcs. Let's see. Savage orcs. Just start shelling the boar boys a little bit. Indeed. Oh my god, that flamethrower into the gate. It does so much damage. It really does. All right, I need you to do something for me. Okay. I need the Morn Ghouls pretty much here. Okay. I need them to be ready to charge through that gate. Okay, moving them forward. I had kept them back because I didn't want them to that, be That shot. makes absolute sense. I had no idea how fast this dude with his flamethrower was going to melt this door, and it's going quick. Nice. All right, the orc biggin shelling has done the job I need it to do. I am putting them on something else now. Excellent. Done its job in the sense that they just all broke and ran. Nice. All right. We are looking okay. Gate is at 72%. It will fall in about 30 seconds. Excellent. Gate is now at 82%. Yeah, that flamethrower... Whoa, that flamethrower is... Okay, I was just making sure they weren't charging too close in. I'm going to advance a little forward with my flamethrower boy. Okay. To help give you more covering fire. Okay. Alright, put some shells into him, boys. Alright, the gate has one HP remaining. Excellent. Opening fire. The gate is open. Send them in. Okay. Uh, can I get a pause, please? You can indeed, madame. All right. Let's go ahead. Continue to spread out and lay in with that firepower. Um, how are the mortars doing? Mortars are shelling there. I'm going to go ahead and start shelling behind the wall a bit. Okay. Uh, just so I don't hit you too much. Yep. Uh, keep in mind, the depth guard on the right flank have pretty much been given free reign of the wall. Yes. So you'll probably want to bring them down off the wall momentarily. Yeah, I'm actually going to have them start going for inside. With Excellent. The, uh, yep. With the uh, And as soon as you have cleared out things with the Morn Ghouls, uh -huh. uh, I will get my guns in. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. All right, I'm going to start painting them with the flamethrower. Okay. That would be terrifying. Yeah. The Morngools, the guy on a hermit crab, and the giant, like, tree flamethrower god. Yeah. Just decide to, like, hello, I am here now. Hello, we are here. Also, we are going to sing you a song. It goes, the beast cares not if you're living or dead. Into its belly is where you'll, be, uh, you'll head. I almost said it correctly. You did, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you. All right, mortar firepower is doing its job. I am changing targets. Okay. With the mortar. All right. I'm just gonna start firing at one of these towers with the cannon because I don't really have anything else to shoot at it. With. Okay. All right, these uh, orc archers, I will start shelling with the mortars. Okay. All right, tree boy, get in here. Make everyone run. Gun boys, can you see this goblin shaman? If so, 50 gold to the man who snipes him in the head. Nice. Oh, wait, the enemy general is here. I didn't even realize. Let me kill him for you. Oh, where is he? Uh, he is fighting by the door against, um, I, it would appear to be uh, my general. Oh, okay. However, it would appear that he is losing substantially. I think, oh, because the Morgul's are helping. Yes, there is also stuff on the walls that could come down and help. Okay, yes, I see that. Yeah, so if that could happen, it would be appreciated. Oh, of course. 
Because there's a lot of stuff down on the ground. That can die. Oh, the guns got got to the shaman finally. Yay! I think they're gonna break him momentarily. All right, dropping another artillery strike. Excellent. Bringing the guns inside. Okay. Let's see if we can squeeze them on in here. Are you casting some kind of plague? I am not. I don't know what that's coming from. Yeah, it's like... I don't know what this green effect happening. It maybe... It might are be the something... Morn doing it? Do they have, like, poison attacks or something, maybe? Um, I don't think so. I could believe it. I mean, I could too. I just don't know if they specifically do. Yeah. Alright, I am sending the big man. Okay. I like how nobody's going through the doors. They are all just going to try and climb the walls. I, yeah. I tried to tell them to, and then they just were like, nope. Yeah, my gun guys are like, we're going that way. <laughs> I like how the sirens are just slowly chewing through. They really are. It's like... Yeah, it's just the orcs can't do anything. No. And there goes enough terror. They are done. Yep. A decisive victory. Yay! Didn't even lose all the wolves. Nope. No, the wolves actually had uh, some decent resistance because of those spells. Yeah. Now the Sirenes um, won some the work. day. Yep. Even more so than the uh, Death Guard. Yeah. Actually, the Morngools really did the job. Yeah. All right, let's raise this city to the ground. Much better. I now have a clear view to the ocean. Excellent. Which was really the goal from the beginning. Of course. All right, trusty. King Karas, how are you doing this fine day? Oh, I appear to be at war with some Wood Elf rebels down here. Would you? Would you be of? Would you be opposed if I went and killed them? I hope not, because I'm going me. to no, do it. All. I'm going to do that. Thank you. All you right. are welcome. All the bones. All right, per our previous agreement. I have, like, no movement here. Am I getting... Oh, I might be getting... Um, am I getting sniped? I, I, don't I think know. Robert's in my way. I can't move away. Oh, Maybe, yeah, it must be Robert then. Alright, I'm going into the siege, because I can't do anything else. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and begin sieging. Okay. For what, actually? Well, no, because then you can come over and we can do this next turn. Yeah. Alright, we'll stay with that, because I was like, Robert actually did some good work on them, by the way. Good, good. Yes, so Luther has gone, Robert. It also might be, so there is a character, he might be um, stopping your movement. He might be, which might also be the problem, but you know what? At this point, that's what's going to happen. We're just going to sit there. Fair enough. All right, so I have one turn until I have that Admiral prepared. Then it's into the deep. Let's get Tidecaller. She likes that spell. Always make sure we build our characters to make your wife happy. That's how you play things correctly, of course. Of course. Everyone knows that. Better invocation of the heck. I know Atoli's not a big fan, but I am. Location of the heck is fine. I like being able to hear heal my boys. No, I it makes sense. Honestly, like I think what I might do in the future. Yes. Like in solo plays of this, is um. Either get generals that have the invocation of the heck, or get captains that do. Yes. And pair them with their opposite, like pair them with a tides or deep rather, you know. Right. I am now just beginning to do the thing I have been avoiding doing for a while. Yeah. Buying just every single building. Oh, yeah. That is... With, with all of the monies you have? Pretty much. I actually used up all of the money I did have. But, you know. All I right. believe it. I mean, I spent like 30,000 gold last turn. Right. Clan Rictus. Yes. Why do we not get along? I genuinely don't know. They like me. They like me, okay. Here, you have 600 gold. That that seems like something you will like. Do you like 600 gold? You love 600 gold. You must be broke. Which is funny, because they actually have a decent amount of space. Like, I can see their territory now. It's... They've... They're, I think they're the ones who have been wiping out um, the Dark Elves that were near Marathi. Oh, absolutely. Alright, sorry for that long turn. Oh, that's alright. 
What's bad is if you add, oh. I have to pull, fall back. Okay. I'm falling back from Lothurn. Okay. There, I've got away now. Huzzah. No, they wanted to fight it, and I want to do it with you. Yes. Even though it was kind of like it was a 50 50 fight, so right. they know if, if they get degraded at all. The good thing is, this means you can hit them with Robert. Yes. Um, Nagarond is attacking me. Let the war begin. Um, I. Pull me in. What? Pull us all in. No, 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 no. I've already at war with them. Oh, I'm oh. saying they are attacking me with a unit and they have reinforcements. I think I'm going to retreat. Are you sure? Well, because it's. I it's, see where it's happening. I know what I understand. Yeah, it's it's not it's like a fifth it's like a 45 55. If you're not confident in it, then fall back and retreat. Now he'll attack the second general who is there. Right, and I'm going to retreat from that too. All right. Okay. Now one of their generals fell back, the other one stayed. Okay. So you might be able to snipe That's one of them. That's what I'm hoping for. Like I was hoping I could you they know. Over, yeah, they overreached. Yes. That was actually really dumb of them. Yep. Well, it's because they they marched with the other one to go back. Ah, uh, yeah. So this will actually be very good, because now I can sweep in, take these two, and step back into oh. my own territory. Oh, hello, Bretonia. Would, would, would you like to talk? Oh, uh, what is it? What is oh, Bretonia? You want a peace want? treaty, and you're offering me gold because there's a full stack army that's about to eat you. Let me let me counter offer this, okay? All right. So let's get rid of this peace treaty first off, okay? All right. So. I was hoping you would let me just keep the offer of money. Oh, just uh, just pay me. Yeah, just pay me sixteen hundred gold, please. Thank you. Nope. No, not quite. All right, I am still the most infamous pirate in the world. Excellent. Yes. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Old Bones McDonald first. Yeah, get him next to it, and then said Tommy. Actually, no, I'm putting Tommy next to it, and then going Old Bones. I was about to say, do that. Old Old Bones has more artillery. Yeah, exactly. He also has uh, at least one depth guard unit. Yes. Okay, yes. So this is gonna be a lot better. Now, do we want to fight this? Is or it we... a stomp? It's. So it's like seven. How woodsy is the map? Let's look at the map. I mean, it's not super woodsy. Oh, no, I actually like that map. All right, Tully, if you can hit that quick save for us. Ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're going to pick up next time. The war against Nagaron truly begins to heat up. If you have enjoyed, smash subscribe, notifications, and all that. I have been the Alchemical Rabbit. And this has been Atoli. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.